Hi, my name is Sue, and my major is Landscape and Turf Grass Management, and I'm a second year student. Hello, my name is Corey Stricker. I'm in the LPTM program, and I am a first year student. My name is Alan Luth. I'm a second year student in the Urban Agriculture and Sustainability program. <laughs> my name is Shane Kramer. I'm a second year student in the LTM program also. I'm Ross Clady. I'm a second year student in Turf Grass and Golf Course Management. I'm Ashley Stark and I'm a second year student in the Urban Ag program. I had actually read an article about um, Mr. Foley um, online. He was his teacher of the year in 2012, um, so that caught my attention when I was looking at landscaping schools. Uh, I actually decided to come here from an internet search, actually. Oh. Uh, it was after I was in Seattle. Washington and I saw all the things they were doing with urban agriculture and all the ways they were trying to bring you know fresh produce to the city areas and I just did a search and I wasn't I didn't think I would find something here but uh, yeah I found the agriculture program here and I've enjoyed it I would say right off the bat Woody ID even though it's by far the hardest class you learn the most out of it and if you're working out in the field you can see and relate to everything that you go over in class in detail and second most I'd say probably arboriculture because you learn all the pruning cuts the proper ways to take care of everything and Chris does a really good job of teaching that I think it's in class. easy to say like oh I want to do landscape in theory but when you're actually doing it mm -hmm. you are like doing things that uh, you would do in a greenhouse setting or digging trees like you kind of figure out where exactly you do want to go instead of just learning about it and graduating and realizing you don't like this at all. I think it's a lot of how we learn the best since we're all majority of us are hands-on anyways you know the educational aspect is there yes but you're gonna learn so much more being there and doing the hands-on. Uh, Planet is a competition for horticultural students around the U.S. and uh, basically we converge on one campus in the spring and it's just a competition between schools. It's friendly competition and um, we call all it the Landscape Olympics. Yeah, the Landscape Olympics. That's good. <laughs> that is. Yeah, the Landscape Olympics. So you get to compete in different events and it's awesome. <laughs> you, ha you have to go do it to experience it. it there's nothing quite like that mm -hmm. the camaraderie between you know students and other schools even it's fantastic through volunteer work I got it I definitely made the connection to get a job there it's not only the networking side with us getting involved with stuff but just like building social skills like I, I just I went to Bowling Green out of high school and it was like I went to class and then I came home and it was like I never really got involved with meeting people and and building connections and doing different stuff like that like this program in the club a lot more it, it's really yeah it, it teaches you how to you know be social and I feel like a lot of our passions are different like the specific things we love. I feel like we all get together and we all love plants. And we Definitely. All love being outside, yes. and I think that's something we can always teamwork and camaraderie. Yeah. Back on. No matter what, no matter if it's golf courts, you know, you know, it's natives, you know, or edible landscaping. We, just, we all kind of come together with those two important things. I've been to three different colleges and i got to say that this is probably the best teaching staff that I've been involved with for the majority of it. Very hands-on, very worried about your education, always pushing you to do better and never letting you pretty much give up. If you know you, you miss a couple of days or something like that, they're going to send you an email, maybe send you a text message, are you okay? You know, Make sure everything's going good. and. Just kind of st help you stay on top of things. Very personal. Yeah, very personal. They want to see you succeed regardless of your situation outside of school. I'm not gonna lie. Since I since I've gotten my resume through that class, I've gotten job offers through John Deere for working on equipment, 
to high-end landscaping companies for supervisory positions to installing beds to sales just just off of my resume and then just been getting calls from all kinds of different places just because it fits all the criteria or one of the criteria that everybody's looking for and then it has so much more to go with it and they're just like wow your resume is just amazing I, long term, my, my goal when I started the program is I, I started part time doing my own business because that was my passion. That's something as I grew up as a kid, that's what I wanted to do. I loved being outdoors regardless of what I was doing, handyman stuff or anything like that. So to come to the program and learn everything that I have, I've had a chance over the last year to acquire a job where I can apply all the practices that I've done and I hope to you know do my own business again now that I've learned the proper techniques and do it full force. I can't stress how much this has made me more life ready and I'm not afraid of what life gives you after you just get your bachelor's. I know I heard someone touch on it and you're like what the heck do I do now? I feel like I've learned some important stuff that I can take with me through while I finish my uh, bachelor's degree. And you know again being involved with you know this program and being involved with our landscape club you know gave that opportunity to me to find where my niche was because I didn't know even through um, even through uh, professional issues I still didn't know what I wanted to do I was just kind of floating through trying to maybe figure it out and then I competed in sales my name is Chris Foley I uh, oversee the landscape program at Owens Community College I've been here for 23 years I oversee the classes and the program development and student internships and deal with employers and all kinds of good stuff. I went to school at Michigan State for a degree in horticulture and when I was there I uh, was a teaching assistant for a Woody Plan ID class and so uh, that kind of that started it. I'm trying to share knowledge you know and see young people or students learn new things and and kind of watch their head when they get something you know and that's kind of fun to to see when it clicks for them. Well, I mean, I hope they reach their goals. I mean, that's ultimately why I'm here, is to help people try and find their niche or what they want to do. You know, my first hope is that people that get into these programs or into the industry, it's passion. The people come in, like, to the program with a very narrow vision of what they'd like to do. And the industry is so big, and there's so many avenues, and there's so many different ways to go that I really want them to kind of open up their minds a little bit and say, well, it's okay if that's what you want to do, and we can proceed that, pr pursue that path but don't don't not look at other areas out there because there's just so many of them and, and a lot of opportunity and something that may excite you more than what you you came in for you know what you originally started with and I like that part of it um, like I said I still like working outside and still like working with my hands um, but I think the fact that I'm always learning there's always new things um, the education there's always new students so it never becomes a routine for me at all. I still love Woody ID. Um, I think just that when people come into the class, they might know a maple tree and an oak tree and a couple of others, but ultimately by the end of 15 weeks later, all of a sudden, uh, I always like to tell the students that if they apply themselves and they study and they do what they have to do, that after 15 weeks, they can come out knowing 150 plants with a common and Latin name, and that's a pretty cool thing. It's near the end of the program. The students have taken pretty much all the other classes and so for some of them, hopefully, they start to put together something that they learned in a plant science class and a soil science class and a woody ID class and an arboriculture class, and they can walk out in the real world and put that stuff together and make a diagnosis for somebody about why their tree's dying, you know. And so I think it's that, that aspect of putting things together that makes it kind of neat. My name is Mike Bella, owner of Bella's Lawn and Landscape. We are a commercial and residential maintenance firm, and we also do design build uh, for the residential side. We would be considered a full service landscape company. We do snow plowing also. The sky's the limit. You can be happy with a, a one crew landscape company, or if you want to become a millionaire, you can have 10, 20 crews. The sky's the limit. Um, but being a business owner usually has some perks to it and some sort of you know, self-fulfillment. And then I just kept mowing grass and then decided I needed some education and went to Owens and 
that's kind of uh, how I just went head, head first into the landscaping industry. Hi, my name is Jen Tainer. I currently work for the Brickman Group as Toledo's operations manager. I manage between 14 and 18 people depending on the season and time of the year. Uh, we're still growing down here. We're a new branch, um, growing quite rapidly actually. And I'm in charge of 31 properties currently, but I know we're the third largest landscape maintenance, commercial landscape maintenance company in the country. Full crew for us is a six man crew, six man woman crew. And uh, I have two crews right now, and then I have two porters that porter the four large hospitals, which is basically um, emptying trash cans, picking up cigarette butts, sweeping, um, doing a little bit of detailing, meaning like plant maintenance, things like that, suckers on the trees. I'm a, I'm a maintenance operations manager, so we do all maintenance. Um, but because we're in Toledo, we have a little more variety down here right now. We're not as divided as a typical branch. Um, so we'll do some mulch, we'll do bed edging, we do spring and fall cleanups, we plant annuals, we pull annuals out, we cut down ornamental grasses, we do perennial care. Our primary focus is commercial lawn maintenance and weeding and um, taking care of chemicals. Mowing, whipping, turf edging, our sidewalk edging, curb edging, blowing, yes, all that. May 3rd of 2011, I started at Brickman and I was promoted to operations manager end of June of 2013. I'm really quality focused, so I feel that really helped me move up quick along with my degree from Owens and my um, previous experience in the industry all my life. Hi, my name is Marty Gaster. I'm the golf course superintendent here at Heather Downs Country Club in Toledo, Ohio. I have been at Heather Downs here for eight years, eight seasons, and uh, I started as a groundskeeper and went to Owens for my degree, and throughout that program I had to do an internship, and I did it here at Heather Downs Country Club, and uh, uh, after the internship they offered me a job as assistant superintendent, so I was assistant superintendent here for two years, and then the previous superintendent left and I got the superintendent position and I've been superintendent here for three years. Um, in the full, the heat of the season we run between 11 and 15. Uh, off season we lay everybody off in the winter and uh, it's slow couple guys here and there getting into the season. Well the, the hole that's on our scorecard is number 16. It's a par 3 that plays over, a, it has a peninsula green. So the shot is over a pond. Hole number four here is a par four that plays into our valley and over a creek. So the first shot is over the valley and the second shot is a downhill shot into our, our green that's kind of tucked back into the, the woods and has a creek running in front of it. We have uh, approximately between 30,000 and 35,000 rounds per year. Um, when this course was fully private 10 years ago, um, they did about 20,000 rounds. That's what the course was designed for, was 20 to 25,000 rounds. So now that we're semi-private, uh, we put out about 30,000 to 35,000. And you can definitely tell the wear on the course after a, a money-making season, as you can say. Before I went to school, I knew how to mow every height of cut. Um, I couldn't tell you if I walked up on the green whether it was healthy or not. It's not a Monday through Friday 9 to 5 job. You couldn't put 70, 80 hours in a week and not love what you do because it, it just doesn't seem like work. It seems, you know, you're outside and yeah, you're working, but it, it just mentally doesn't seem like it because it's uh, something that you love to do. Hi, my name is Tim Leibarger. After graduation, I took a second internship with Willoway Nurseries because I enjoyed that aspect of the industry. Upon completion of my uh, internship, I was offered a full-time job with Willoway Nurseries as pot and pot production supervisor. I oversee all the trimming and staking in the pot and pot trees. I enjoy being outside and just working with the trees, you know, and making them look good. You try to sometimes, this way trees grow, but they're considered junk in the industry. You get to take something junk and make it look good. I'm responsible for approximately 120 acres of pot and pot trees and shrubs. Thank you.